Amanil Kumar, welcome to my series on vectors. We'll now understand intersection of three planes with the help of this particular example. Discuss the intersection of the following three planes. 3x minus 3y minus 2z equals to 14, 5x plus y minus 3z equals to 10, x minus 2y plus 4z equals to 9. So we got three planes and we need to find intersection of these planes. Well, adopt the method of uh, uh, matrices to solve this particular system of equations. So let's begin by writing augmented matrix. In augmented matrix, we only deal with the coefficients. So the first equation coefficients are 3 minus 3 minus 2. The values after the equal to sign are written after a vertical line. So that is the augmented matrix. So we get 5, 1, minus 6, 10. And then we have 1, minus 2, 4, and 9. We'll actually do elementary row operations to find the solution. Normally, we should be rearranging the rows so that we write the simplest form right on the top. So I'm going to change and write down this particular row on the top. So we'll have 1, minus 2, 4, 9 on the top, and then we'll retain 5, 1, minus 6, 10 as such, and write down 3, minus 3, minus 2 as the third row. Now that really helps since in most of the operations we are interested in making these three things zero using the first row. So first row should be the most simplified. So that's the whole idea. Now the idea is to change 5 to 0 and also 3 to 0 by row operations. How can we do it? Well, we could do it by, uh, let us say, if I, from the second row, if I take away 5 times row number 1, I can make this 0. And in this case, from the third row, if I take away 3 times row number 1, then I can make this as 0. Perfect. So I'm going to apply these operations. So this will now become as so first row remains same, which is 1, minus 2, 4, 9. The second row. If I multiply the first row by 5, I get 5 here. So 5 minus 5 is 0, right? 5 times minus 2 is minus 10. 1 minus minus 10 will give us 11. 4 times 5 is 20. And when you take away, it becomes minus 26. 9 times 5 is 45. And when you take away minus 45 from 10, you get minus 35. Now, the third row. We'll do this operation 3 times R1. So we have to take away from each 3 times 1 will give us 0. That is what we wanted. 3 times 2 is 6, minus 6. When you take away minus 6, you get plus 3 here. Now, 3 times 4 is 12. Minus 12 from minus 2 gives us minus 14. And 3 times 9 is 27. So when you do minus 27, so you get negative 3, 1, 13. To get a zero here, it is slightly complicated, right? So what are we going to do here? Well, the, the way to get zero here is definitely we have to use second row. So what are we going to do? We are going to, from R3, from R3, we are going to take away 3 over 11 times R2 right so 3 over 11 times r2 will actually give us 0 in this position correct so that is slightly complicated so what i will do here i'll write kind of full form here so we'll rewrite the first row as such 
right, equals to 9. Now, in the second row, we are not making any changes, so we, we can copy this. Now, in the third row, we are actually multiplying the second row by 3 over 11 and then taking away from this. While this is 0, doing any operations with 0, take away 0 is not a problem. So here, if I multiply 11 by 3 and then divide by 11, I do get 3 here, right? And when I take away, then I do get 0, 3 take away this. But this minus 14 portion becomes typical. So it is minus 14. We have to multiply 26 by 3 over 11 and then take away, right? So when you multiply this by 3 over 11 times 26, right? And then this is negative, right? So when you take away, it actually becomes positive. Is that clear? So this book becomes minus 14 plus 3 over 11 of 26. On the right side, we have minus 13. So here we have minus 13. And from this, we have to take away 3 over 11 times minus 35. So that makes it plus times 35. Is that clear to you? So that is what we get here. So now we have a form in which we can equate and find x, y, and z value, right? So you got 0, 0, and something here equals to that thing. So let's simplify these numbers and get our answer. So that basically means that uh, the z value, so this is like minus 14 plus 3 times 26 over 11 times z equals 2, all this, which is minus 13, plus 3 over 11 times 35. Is that clear to you? So that is what it is. So this is this is all z. So the value of z is the ratio of these two. Okay. So let's simplify this uh, separately and then find the value of z. So, so we will do 11 times minus 44. We could do it on calculator now. It's slightly more complicated. So 11 times uh, I mean, minus 14 plus uh, 3 times 26 divided by 11, right? So equals 2. So that gives you a number, minus 76 over 11z equals 2. On the right side, we have 3 times 35 divided by 11, and we'll take away 13 from this. So that gives you minus 38 over 11. Clear? That's what you get. Now from here, you can solve for z. So the value of z basically is equal to minus 38 divided by minus 76. Correct? So 11, 11 cancels. Correct? So you get this, which is equal to half. So the value of z which you get here is half. Is that clear to you? The slightly difficult values to work with. However, you understand that by this simplification, we do get the value of z directly, right? So z is half. Now we can substitute this value of z and get the value of y and then x. So we have this equation, the second one here. Second row gives us 11 y minus 26 z equals to minus 35. Substituting half for z, we get 11 y minus 26 times half equals to minus 35 or 11 y equals to minus 35 plus half of this, which is what? 13, right? Half 26. And uh, so we get 11 y equals to uh, negative and 2 and 22, right? So uh, 22. So y is basically equal to negative 2, okay? So we get the va value of y as negative 2. Now we can use the first equation, which is x minus 2y plus 4z equals to 9. Substituting the value of y and z, we get minus 2 times minus 2 plus 4 times half 
equals to 9. So that gives you x plus 4, uh, that is minus minus plus 4, and this is plus 2 equals to 9. So x is equals to 9 minus 6, which is 3. So we get the x value as 3, correct? So we get all the three answers here. So x is equal to 3, y is equal to minus 2, and z is equal to half. So we get a point of intersection for these three planes, and the point of intersection is 3 minus 2 half. Is that clear to you? Right. So clearly, what you get from here is that there is a point of intersection, right? So these three planes intersect at a point. And in this case, the point of intersection is 3 minus 2 half. Perfect. So the normals of these planes will be perpendicular to one another. That is another very important thing which you can actually figure out. So, so once they intersect at a point, uh, because we do have a point of intersection very clearly here, the, the planes are kind of like this. Do you see that? So they are intersecting at a point. So that is what you can say about the three planes. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.